The tremolo module found here on the lower right of the edit view is a great way to add movement to the sound. It introduces a low frequency amplitude, in other words, an LFO type of modulation on amplitude, on volume. Now, when it's in mono mode, meaning when this is off, it'll act as a straight kind of volume LFO. And when stereo is enabled, it acts as a pan, moving the signal from side to side. Now, we have the type selector here, which allows us to use two different shapes. On the left is a triangle waveform, which is kind of smoother movement from side to side when you're in stereo mode or up and down when you're in mono mode. And on the right, we have a square shape, which is a more sharper kind of abrupt movement. Now, the depth knob is used to set the amount of this modulation in the amplitude. So in other words, how much of this tremolo effect that we want. And the rate knob allows us to control the speed or the frequency of it. And we can work kind of freely like that, working in cycles per second, or when sync is enabled, it'll sync to the host tempo and we can enable it in musical subdivisions. So let me play you a part here with some long sustain chords, and I'm gonna dial the depth up dramatically so we can hear it, and I'll set the rate to, let's say, one, which means a whole bar, and you can hear it moving from side to side, and then when I switch to mono mode, you'll hear it modulating in amplitude rather than in panning. That's a smoother movement. It's a more abrupt transition. I get a smoother movement here. volume modulation, and now it's panning. And when we work freely, you can go more by feel. Now the depth knob can also be controlled by the modulation wheel, and on the play view, we have controls for the rate and the depth, since those are the defining characteristics of the tremolo. We can turn it on and off here, and we can control it with the mod wheel, and for that we need this trem button to be enabled. So we can either mouse it or use a live mod wheel, and I'll move my live mod wheel and it'll control the on-screen display, and you'll see that when I move it to the bottom, it disables the tremolo. So all the way off, and that disables itself. So let me play you the same part again, and I'll move the mod wheel in real time, and you can hear the influence that has over the depth control. So that's great if you want to have it as a performance tool to have more or less tremolo on certain notes or bars or beats of the part that you're playing. So that's the tremolo section. The main controls here in the play view, but the detailed controls here, which allow us to choose between the different shapes and to choose whether it's going to be synced to tempo or not, and whether we have it modulating panning when it's in stereo mode versus just straight amplitude when it's in mono mode. So that's the tremolo module.